I appeal you. Okay? I appeal you. I appeal to you. To you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your spiritual worship. The worshipers, true worshipers, will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For you seek as such. Don't you understand that that's fasting and prayer and sacrifice and suffering? Worship is not this right here. That's real cute. And it makes people feel real good. But that's not worship. Worship is hard. Worship comes out of a hard place. It comes out of a pain, painful place. Where you yield to the Holy Spirit. And then number two, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Why would you have to renew your mind if you're already holier than thou? If you're already wonderful, why would you have to renew your mind? Why would it? Romans is so important. Romans, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians. We live by those. First and second Timothy, the first and second Peter, first and second Thessalonians, T Titus. Philemon, Hebrew, James. Okay. First, second, and third John. These are our principles we live by. Okay. We're in Romans chapter 12. Okay. So why would he tell you to renew your mind? How, renew your mind to what? The perfect will of God. That means that you have to practice love. You have to practice patience. You have to practice humility. And the more you do it the easier it gets okay but if you stand up on some high horse saying i don't do anything wrong anyway the devil's got you pride goes before destruction and the holy spirit before a fall a fall into where into hell okay so for by grace the, the grace given to me i say to you everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. Do you understand that? For as in one body, I'm just going to read, now that you got those three, okay? Present your body, sacrifice, total sacrifice, number two, renew your mind, okay? Number three, don't be prideful. Don't think of yourself in an arrogant way. Okay, that I'm already holy. I've already arrived. No one's arrived. Okay. We are all pressing on the upward way. Okay. For as in one body, we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function. So we, though many, you think about functions. Okay. You think about, when I think about functions, I think about math. Okay. F of X. Okay. So F of X, the function of X. The function of something else, the function of this, the function of whatever. Well, there's only that one. So the function of something else is going to be a totally different outcome. Totally different. I don't walk in your shoes. You definitely don't walk in my shoes. Amen. So we don't have the, the ability to make corrective judgment without the Holy Ghost saying, Hey, this is what I need you to tell her because I know her. You don't. I know her inside and out. I know her thoughts, her intentions. I know what she's been through. I know how she calculates. Well, this is what happened to me. And this is what I don't want to happen to me. So this is what I'm going to avoid. Okay? So, that's only for God to do the, that. those uh, judgments. If it's not him, please be quiet. Okay. And he says, so we, though many one body in Christ and individually members one of another having set gifts that differ according to the grace given to us let us use them if prophecy in proportion to our faith that means faith only work is, works by love so if you don't love that person stop prophesying to them please stop okay if service in our serving the one who teaches in his teaching. The one who exhorts. Come on, we need exhortation. People might make you feel like you don't have a, a, a you know, 
functional job, but you do. Exhortation is the, one of the most important pieces in the body of Christ. Without exhortation and encouragement and being uplifted, I'm telling you, we will not function correctly. We will be hurting one, one another, damaging one another, okay, through our gifts. Okay? The one who contributes in generosity. If you are a giver, you are in the ministry of giving, then that means that you need to do it in a generous way. That means, oh, okay, that person needs shoes. Praise the Lord. If I was her, I would want 10 shoes if I ain't got none. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and give in a generous way so that the Lord can give, you know, he can supply your needs in a generous way. Now, if you're doing that, God knows when you're joyful and you're happy for that person. You will continue to check on them. Okay? Like the Good Samaritan. You'll continue to make sure that they're prospering. Okay? He knows that. He knows if you'll get jealous and say, well, I did my good deed, but where's mine? You know, God doesn't want those kind of people giving. Okay? If that's not your gift, stop doing it. You won't be happy. You will not be happy. Stop trying to make it seem like you're a nice person and giving people stuff when you know you're angry afterwards. Okay? The one who leads with zeal. I love pastors who are on fire. I love my pastor, Prophet Karn, and uh, Prophet Brian Karn. He leads with zeal. I know he's humble. I'm pretty proud. I don't want nobody to say all that extra stuff about him. But every time I see him get up, he's excited. <laughs> He is excited about the move of God. How can you sit still in a church like that where a person is so excited, been to Africa and been to different countries and know what it is to see the power of God really move away from Babylon? Amen. Lead with zeal, right? Uh, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. So if you're telling someone, we're going to give you a lighter sentence or we, we're going to put you on house arrest, do it cheerfully. Amen. Know that you are making someone's heart glad. That's what mercy is. Is not getting what you do deserve. Amen. Grace is receiving what you don't deserve. Right? And then mercy is God holding his hand back. Okay? What you do deserve. Okay? So, let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Outdo one another in showing honor. I honor you with my mouth. I speak so many blessings over you. Okay. Outdo one another. Don't be sitting there talking about, mm-hmm. 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 While everybody's pouring into you, pour into them too. Okay. Do not be slothful in zeal. Don't be lazy. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Hot. Okay. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Constant. It doesn't stop. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. So that means you ain't supposed to be giving out to these street hookers and street people. You need to be, if anything, help your mother. Is your mother a woman of God, evangelist, or pastor, or whatever? Give to your mother. Give to the mothers of the church. Okay? Now, especially if they're a widow. Okay? And these children. These children need your help. Okay? You be talking about slapping hands with your brother, knowing they got a good job and they got it going on. Yeah, here you go. I just want to be a blessing to you again, brother. You know, <laughs> go take these kids out, you know, and teach them the word of God. Take them out to lunch. Take them out to dinner. Talk to them about the word of God. It's going to make a difference in this world. Okay. Um, bless those who persecute you. Okay. We know what persecution is. Okay. Persecution is the, <laughs> they come against you. They fight against you. They make fun of you. They laugh at you. They're trying to stop you from getting the message of Jesus Christ out. Bless and do not curse them. Okay? Jesus cursed that fig tree. He said, you have the option to curse them. He said, please don't do it. Okay? All right. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, 
but associate with the lowly. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. The people who don't believe that they're righteous enough. The people who don't feel like they're good enough. Associate with them, as Jesus did. Amen? Never be wise in your own sight. Okay? Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. Okay? If possible, as so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Okay? Behold, sorry, beloved, never avenge yourselves. Do not pay people back for what they did to you, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. Okay? If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. Okay? For by so, so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Now, you don't do it because you want to hurt him. Okay? You do it because you love God and you love Jesus and you're doing it as unto the Lord and you care about that person. That means that they won't have to go to hell. Okay, They'll feel the love of God here and now. And they'll say, wow, I did wrong to them. And they love me. That's what it means to heap coals of fire. It doesn't mean you're gonna, bad things are going to happen to them. No. It just means that they're going to be convicted in their conscience. That's what it means by coals of fire. Okay? Conviction in your conscience. First verse of the 13th chapter. Most important of all. Okay? Let every person be subject to the higher powers. Okay? For there is no authority except from God. And those that exist have been instituted by God. Okay? Angels know that they can trick you. Angels know that they can deceive you. Some angels want recognition. And the devil tricked many angels, okay, into using their own authority, leaving God's territory, and establishing their own thrones. Okay? So the devil tricked them. And he's still tricking them. So do not fall prey to some angel and say, well, I thought that God is good and angels are good too. Get this judgment out of your head of good and bad, and right and wrong, okay? Don't do that, okay? Learn how to what? Make good judgment. Discern, okay? Verse 2 again. Be not conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And his will will always align with his spiritual will fruits right is it loving is it joyful is it peaceful is it long-suffering and gentle and meekness and temperance and goodness and faith is it that or is it something else okay so you'll know do not overcome by don't do not be over overcome by evil but overcome evil with good okay does that help i hope so if you know something that something someone is, is, is struggling with or something's going on, don't keep saying, see, that's not right. See, that's not how God works. See, that's not. You have to understand what happened. When I went on that 40-day fast that God told me so-and-so is your husband. Okay. After the fast, I got lots of attacks. And I did give up. And I said, okay, well, I'm moving on. If he doesn't want me, I'll go somewhere else, you know. But that's the, that's the attack of the devil. And a person with no discernment, you know what they're going to say? Well, they were, just, they were just being loud and they were just over-talking. And they were, <laughs> you're going to be able to see that. Wait a minute. There's, there's something about when you're actually right there in the face of the person. There will be no arguments. There will be nothing. The only thing there will be is if you're hiding on social media or hiding behind some phone or something, then you know that's not the right person. So there'll be an uproar with that woman. She will. She'll go she'll act crazy. But the Spirit of the living God, a man that's in his people, that's what makes us submit. A godly woman doesn't just go around submitting to everybody. Oh yeah, I'll be quiet and listen to every spirit. Believe not to every spirit try the spirits 
and see whether or not they have the love of God, peace, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, temperance, faith, goodness, gentleness, come on. We only submit to one spirit, okay? So I'm sorry if you thought you had something on me, but no, I will never submit to the devil. I'm not doing it, okay? That mean and harsh, angry, angry spirit, that's not for me, amen? And God bless you all. Hopefully you understood what you're supposed to do right now.